here we are in Hollywood Studios again on Wednesday in my literal favorite place on earth, the rock and roller coaster section. This is the Rock of Ages version. Is it? It'll just be live. Is there a standby time? Rock and roll, baby. Doesn't the Ozzy say it like that? What? Rock and roll! Yes, we did. We are about to go front row on my favorite ride ever, ever, ever. My favorite band ever, ever, ever. I love this ride so much. Gosh, and blush. For your safety, pull down on the shoulder restraint until it locks in place. Keep your head against the headrest and remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside. Asegúrense de colocar sus efectos personales en el piso y de a sus niños. There we go. I couldn't get it to like click down. That's as far as I wanted it to. But don't worry, we've got you covered. Just keep it right here on LA's Classic Rock Station. Uh, going down. How much you want to bet we'll hear Love in an Elevator? It's like five different songs. But Love in an Elevator is usually the predominant one in one of the clips. Mm -hmm. And then I think Living on the Edge is another one. But I don't know what else. Ooh. Alright, I'm getting I'm getting a little hyped up, excited. Can't believe my buns almost didn't fit. Oh boy. Why didn't we ride it the other day? I'm mm. mad that my grandparents would t get to go on my favorite ride with me. This is scooters. Keep it with scooters. Uh -huh. Here we are, VIP section. Welcome back, VIP. Oh, there they are. There's my guys. We just got our picture taken again over by where like the um, rebels go in Chewbacca. 
And the lady, it was the lady that we had the other day. She was so cute. Again, I think they're going to come out really good. And she was just, it's like so funny. Because I feel like every time we see like a photo pass or like a photographer, we're like we catch them. And they're, like there's no one around. And then as soon as like people see, take like her taking pictures, then they like, oh, like pictures? So we just got the blue and the green milk. The blue has rum and what? The green has tequila? Yep. Okay. And she said to stir them though because... Yeah, because the it stays on the top. Yeah. I think it's like a rice paste and it's very thick. Oh, okay. Will you stir mine? What does it taste like? It's like a slushy rice base with like some tequila at the very end. Is it like a melony flavor or like? No. No? No, it tastes melon. Try this one. Like a milky flavor? Well, I think it's coconut. It's like the consistency coconut. of like milk, but uh, it's coconut base and like a small amount of rum at the very end. It's good. Alright, so this is the blue with the rum. Yeah, what does it remind me of? Tastes like the gumballs in the ice pops that you get from like the ice cream man. Oh, right? Let me try yours. Isn't that what this one? Try, try it again. Tell me that's not what that like flavor is. Yep. And this one's definitely like citrusy. which one I like better. I mean, they're not, like, I've heard people say that they're really bad, but I don't know. Like, they're not awful. They're not super great either, but... Uh, it's got a brain freeze. I don't know. At first I thought I liked the green milk better, but I think I like the blue milk better. Okay. I don't know. It's weird. I mean, it's good though. It's not, it's not bad. You got brain freeze. <laughs> we just ate lunch again at Docking Bay 7 in Galaxy's Ed. I got the salad again, cause it was really good. Brian got the chicken that my grandparents got the other day and then we split the ribs. They were meh, like, I don't know. The sauce was pretty generic. And yeah, I mean, they were okay. They weren't great. And then of course I got my Shirley Sarlacc drink again. I got two to be exact. So I'm trying to finish one so I can take the other one on the road. Thank you. Thank you. 
right behind him. And then my friend, I thank you for your discretion. First order is everywhere. Come in, don't be afraid. Come in. Not the camera. Come and join your compatriots. Welcome! I wanted to see your faces when you saw the workshop for the first time. I know it's a little... It's, it's a lot. <laughs> but to us, to us it's everything. Now I see you've met my fellow gatherers. Good. I am called Kenbe. Now to some of you this may look like a lot of old junk, but let me clarify. Some of this is new junk. <laughs> <laughs> we humbly call ourselves the gatherers. We searched the galaxy for ancient relics, forgotten traces, abandoned outposts, battle ravaged planets. And what we find, we bring here. So, where a stormtrooper might see worthless clutter, those who know see priceless history. And in these times, preserving our past may just ensure a future. Yes? Yeah. Yes. yes. Now, my friends, by this point, you've certainly all heard the legends of Luke Skywalker. We hear there is another. A new Jedi. Does anyone know her name? Rey. Rey, yes. <laughs> and what Rey is leading is the spark of hope we have all been waiting for. And that, my friends, is why you are here. To look ahead to the future. To do this. A lightsaber. The lightsaber has been wielded by some of our greatest heroes and darkest enemies. It is elegant, enigmatic. To build a lightsaber is an art. Now the saber is a reflection of the building with the force flowing between them. And today you will feel that connection. But enough chatter, let's begin. We start with perhaps the most important aspect of the lightsaber, the kyber crystal, able to focus the energy of the force, to magnify it. Now some say that the kyber crystal is the beating heart of the lightsaber. The color of the crystal reveals the color of the blade. Now this you may know from some of the great Jedi in our history. Blue crystal, such as the one wielded by the great master Obi Wan Kenobi and his apprentice Anakin Skywalker, and of course, Rey. Green, the color that called to Qui Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, Master Yoda himself, and Luke Skywalker. The violet crystal, red and beautiful like the blade wielded by Mace Windu. Red. There are those who call this the color of power and ambition. The crystal of Darth Maul. Asajj Ventress, Darth Vader. And now Kylo Ren. But these are the stories of the past. We are here for you, our future. You will now choose your kind of crystal. My friends, close your eyes. What color do you see in your mind? Choose your crystal and know that it is equally likely that your crystal is choosing you. Now, open your eyes and take your crystal. What color did you get? Once you've chosen, place the crystal on the small green tray at the top of your building. Well done. Well done indeed. You will now join that crystal to the aspects of saber design that you chose moments ago on the other side of the secret door. Once again, make sure that crystal is at rest on the tiny green tray at the top of your station. Good, good. Now, you will begin to build your hilt. This 
is the foundation of your legacy. It is your center of control. And it's the thing that keeps your hands from disintegrating. In these boxes are the aspects of design you've already selected. You will find the chassis, activation plates, grip, emitter, and pommel cap. Now remember, building a lightsaber is a very personal journey. Once you've selected your crystal, you will now choose each individual aspect of design that makes your saber unique. Should you have any questions, my fellow gatherers are standing before you, waiting and willing to assist, or you need to is ask. Now, let's build.
We have reached the final stage. The bond between saber and builder is about to be forged. In a moment, you will come forward. You shall place your hands on the hilt of your completed lightsaber. And when I give you the word, and not before, mm -hmm. you will then activate your blades. Are you ready? Yes. Come forward. And on my mark, activate. Raise your sabers. You have built a lightsaber like the Jedi and the Sith who have come before you. You two can change the galaxy. Remember, it only takes a spark. One little spark. And now, my friends, it's time enough to momentarily deactivate and lower your blades. Ah, complete your lightsaber is. Light your path, it can. Choose your path. Only you can. May the Force be with you. Thank you, Master. My friends, in your hands you hold remarkable power. And remarkable power shouldn't be dropped on the ground. <laughs> in order to keep what you have just forged safe, we are pleased to offer you a saber sheet as you depart. In a moment, I shall dismiss you one by one. Our time together is at an end. Fuck your Just journey. Check it, make sure there's no scratches or anything. Time to make your better. mark no, on the good. galaxy. And remember, you are as unique and as extraordinary as the saber you have just built. And next time, it's left. Okay, because that course. guy came back for that. Raise your saber! It was an honor and a privilege to build with you. <laughs> My friends, step forward into destiny. Okay. <laughs> Follow. Continue on. Wait one moment if you please. Ah, no. You're welcome. Enjoy. Wow. So cool. You happy now? Yeah. This way. Right? Right? What time? What time is? That was, that was pretty cool though. Yeah. I like how they, um, like it was like a whole show. And the guy was like very entertaining. He, like, he did a good job. He was very entertaining. Meow, meow. Meow meow. Meow 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 meow. Meow meow. Meow 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 meow. Meow. You getting sick of that yet? Nice. Ooh, it's really heavy. How do I? This button? Ooh. Wow.